what's good y'all it's your boy ross back again with another video so we got to talk about what happened on this episode of friday night smackdown shout out to everyone that joined in shout out to steve for pulling up dub would have been a part of the stream but he was at uh his son's um their football scrimmage uh today so he wasn't able to make it but we held down the floor for him so shout out to everyone that showed up we appreciate y'all so they started off the show with uh the grayson waller show that he has uh with austin's austin theory and the host on well the guest on there was uh cody rhodes and basically what grayson waller was trying to do grayson waller and austin theory was trying to show um trying to show um cody rhodes that you can't trust KO. And they had a video package dating back to KO betraying Sami Zayn all the way back in NXT. And everyone that he's betrayed, everyone that he called a friend that he betrayed. And I love that they went down memory lane and, and really teased that idea and put that idea out there. Like, hey, you gave this title opportunity to someone that you call a friend. You don't think kevin owens the guy that is notorious for portraying people won't betray you which is a very good point and uh also i like the fact that cody spun it on grayson waller and austin theory he's like bro everybody sees it that grayson doesn't have your back but you don't see the scene you you can't you like it's like you're blind to the obvious we're waiting on you to figure out that Aust that Grayson Waller doesn't have your back. And they've been teasing that for a while now. We don't know when they're going to actually pull the trigger. But they've been teasing it for a while. So even uh, Cody Rhodes had pointed that out. And that's when Kevin Owens comes out there. Kevin Owens comes out there and he says, all those guys deserved it except for Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston didn't deserve that. He never hurts nobody. So, hey, Kofi, that one's on me. I'm sorry. That was funny. That was funny. He said everybody else deserved it. Except Kofi Kingston, though. He he ain't deserved it. Kofi's a good guy. Sorry about that, Kofi, bro. We hope we good now. That was funny. Um, but he basically, you know, made it very clear. It's like, look, since you know, I'm I I I feel like I'm gonna get in the ring and start beating you up. I know there's and you know there's gonna be some type of way where we end up in a tag team match. So I already talked to Nick Aldis. We're gonna go ahead and get this set up. He got Nick Aldis out there to make the match official, a tag team match in the main event with Cody Rhodes, and Kevin Owens teaming up going against Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. And then uh, he asked Nick Aldis if he can go in the ring for a little bit to beat him up. And Nick Aldis was like, hey, you got a few minutes, hurry up. And so that's what happened. Um, so it was, and what they did is, I, I forgot who it was. I want to say it may have been Grayson, but somehow um, they ended up pushing KO into the back of Cody Rhodes and, you know, to try to stir up the pot a little bit. But, you know, you can hear KO saying, he pushed me into you and, and, and Cody's like, nah, it's all good. I, it's all good. I, I understand. So that was the overall theme of tonight. Will KO actually turn on Cody tonight? Teasing it. And they were teasing it really well. They teased it really well tonight. We also got to talk about the bloodline stuff. Obviously, everyone's interested in what's going on with that. Uh, the... Um, bloodline we're going to be putting on their title uh um, they were gonna have a titles uh tag team title championship match against the street profits so before that happened bloodline bloodline come out there in solo basically let it be known that the otc is d-o-n-e he's gone he's taken care of the otc even though the crowd was chanting we want roman otc loud they were letting it be known that they want roman reigns back um, he also said that whoever wins out of Kevin Owens and um, and Cody Rhodes at Bash in Berlin, he has next. He wants to face them so he can bring back the WWE um, championship back to the bloodline. And then the last thing he talked about, he wanted Jacob Fatu to relinquish the title and give the title to uh, um, Tonga Loa. So that way, Jacob can be his personal enforcer, essentially. So he didn't want him to have the title and to be focusing on that. 
He only wanted Jacob to be focusing on him being his enforcer. And Jacob is just an animal. Like when he uh, found that out, when he was told to drop the title and, you know, essentially give it to Tongaloa, um, he was he was just so just happy. Like he gave him a hug. I love you, my tribal chief. I love you. And like he was just going crazy with it. But once again, he's an animal that <laughs> ultimately, and, and I can't wait for it to happen. Ultimately, you can't tame. That's why he's the Samoan werewolf. You can't tame him. You may think you can, but at some point, he's going to turn on Solo. And I can't wait for that to happen. We don't know when it's going to happen. It's going to take some time, but he will turn on Solo. It's going to be a great moment when it does happen. Um, but now he has been upgraded, essentially, however you want to look at it, as the um, the um, the enforcer like his personal enforcer for Solo Sokoa. So that's why he ended up giving a, a title to Tonga Loa. And the fact when he did give the title to Tonga Loa, the crowd was chanting, you can't wrestle. It's fucking, now the crowds have gotten in, gotten in on, <laughs> on Tonga Loa's botches of late. It's, it's, it's unfortunate, but hey, all they can do is make the best of it. So now that we know that's, uh, Solo's plans and intentions. Of course, I do think Roman is going to be a person to wedge that opportunity for Solo to even try to get another uh, title opportunity. Uh, so I'm interested to see how that play out. And that's when the Street Profits come out there. Street Profits come out there. Really good match. Um, but of course, the numbers games get involved. Once Jacob Fatu start super kicking people with his fucking uh, boot on and Solo got into the mix with the distraction or whatnot you knew the match was over kind of uh, anti-climactic finish to that match and then they started packing them up um after the match and then diy comes out there and they try to do something they get a little bit of offense in but jacob being a fucking monster that he is packs them up once again with his boot on and then solo proceeds to give them awesome Owen spikes and once again the bloodline are looking very dominant destroying uh four men <laughs> with ease and they have a guy in a boot jacob fatu i think that lets you know where they stand and we got to talk about the main event kevin owens teaming up with cody rhodes versus grayson waller and um austin theory in the back ko had his shirt on normally it has the 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 lettering ko just white but tonight it was red. I was like, uh-oh. And a lot of people in the chat picked up on it. I was like, oh, no. And the, some of the things he was saying, he's like, yeah, it's not like I, you know, I set up this match with Nick Aldis to team up with you to, you know, set you up to for it to be a trap to attack you. There's, not, there's nothing like that. And, you know, Cody's just like, I mean, all I can do is take you at your word, bro. I was like, oh, my God, please don't do this. Oh, they were setting it up so good. The match happens, and obviously they end up getting the win, KO and um, and Cody Rhodes. And there's a situation after they show the graphics for all the matches that's going to happen at, at Bash in Berlin. KO has a title like this. He has a title like this. Cody's not looking at KO. He's looking up the ramp. So it looks like KO's about to run and hit him with the title, but he like walks really fast and pretty much gives KO, uh, he gives uh, Cody Rhodes the title, and then he starts talking shit to Austin Theory and Grayson Waller up the ramp. And the crowd, you can hear though, oh, because it looked like he was about to hit him with the title. And even Cody, when he got the title from KO, he had this look of just like, uh wait what like was he was he about to hit me like it was just that look of concern it wasn't like oh my homie just gave me my title my friend just gave me my title it was like he was kind of he had this kind of wary look and then when ko lifted up his hands he then he you know he's like ah yeah yeah appreciate that so that was interesting that was such a good tease because it looked like he was about to hit him but he didn't Oh, that got me. I, my heart almost fell out my damn chest. I was like, oh, not this again. So I don't know if they're going to pull the trigger. Pull the trigger at the go-home show next week. We will see. But, whoo, 
That was a good tease. I love a good tease like that in the sense of they're teasing the storyline of is KO really going to turn? And that was very good. I like how they kind of uh, planned that out. But overall, for me, it was a middle of the road show. Nothing really happened outside of the bloodline stuff and Kevin Owens teasing the possible heel turn that was the most noticeable stuff there uh la night retaining against esco uh, santos escobar kind of knew that was gonna happen so yeah but it was a middle of the road show maybe it'll pick up uh since they will be over there in berlin uh filming smackdown um so i'm sure smackdown will be recorded for us i'm guessing i don't know uh, but they will be over there in berlin for smackdown so it'll probably be a uh that, i'm sure that crowd's gonna be a lot more electric for sure and uh you know we'll see how things play out um when they're in smackdown for berlin and then obviously the main show uh for uh for the actual ple so but hey, comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part of SmackDown tonight. What you rate the show on a scale of 1 to 10. And uh, what else are you guys, um, what match are you looking forward to the most at Bash in Berlin um, next Saturday? Y'all let me know down below. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.